Today, Iowa State University announced a new concept known as SciTown. The development will be built between Hilton Coliseum and Jack Trice Stadium. And it looks really cool. WHO 13's Roger Riley attended the news conference about this today. So, Roger, you have all the details. I do, Aaron. You know, and this is an announcement about a retail development, but, you know, there's a backstory I've got to share with you. Three years ago, ISU President Wendy Winterstein asked Athletic Director Jamie Pollard to take over running the Iowa State Center. Now, why, you might ask? Because the uh, C.Y. Stevens, Sheeman Building are 50 years old, and they needed to come up with a plan to update those structures. I asked that the athletics department partner with the Iowa State Research Park to consider a comprehensive approach for a vibrant corridor from the research park all the way north to the Iowa State Center to the Iowa State University campus. So this is the motivation to come up with SciTown, a mix of retail, office, and gathering space. It will also have a convention center and hotel. It will be a place for fans to gather. And so if you were to describe SciTown, Rick Sanders described it the best. He said if the Power and Light District and Titletown had a child, it would be Sytown. We look at how we can provide something that is additive, not disruptive or dilutive to the Ames community, and that's exactly what we're putting forward. There's one more piece involving the Iowa State Research Park. Companies want to have office space to maintain relationships with future employees. Uh, we work together, the Research Park and Iowa State University, when Collins Aerospace wanted to be closer to campus. They wanted to be right across the street from campus. So now they're in the Kingland building because it was so important to them to be closer to that talent that they want to hire throughout the year. Now, having that whole story with uh, the uh, Sci-Town and everything that's going on, the bottom line is they want the development to be profitable, maybe as much as $200 million, and then some of that profit, around $50 million or so, will be put back into fixing up C.Y. Stevens, Sheeman, Fisher's Theater, some of the buildings that have been around for over 50 years here at the Iowa State Center, Aaron. All right, good stuff. We'll look forward to watching it all come together. Thanks, Roger. Yeah, it does look really cool, mm -hmm. right? We want to go <laughs> now. Yeah, I, I wish we could get that up and running here for right. Saturday, the yes. next, next football game. That'll be be a good uh, time for sure. We're gonna have.